We all know the importance of feedback to student learning, but if you're like me, it can sometimes feel hard to give all students the feedback that you'd really like to give them and as quickly as you'd like. In this video, we're gonna talk about a few ways to give feedback that could help a student feel connected, but doesn't feel overwhelming to us. Simply responding to a few students' discussion posts with a one to two sentence comment or question can help all of the students in your class feel your presence in that virtual environment. Creating a quiz that shows incorrect answers is another way to get feedback to students quickly and easily. As we dive deeper into feedback, we'll look at ways to enhance the feedback methods, looking at both written feedback and video feedback as well. One of the easiest ways to give feedback is by building in good formative checks. And this is my module from this past spring where I was able to build in, as you guys see these rocket ships are quizzes, these quizzes to check their understanding along the way. And so here was an Islamic State quiz, please seven points. And I said that you had to have five points correct to be able to go on. And then they could take this an unlimited number of times. If they aren't able to do this on the first time, it tells them and I'm teaching them that they need to be able to go back to the things before this quiz and look at that content again before they take the quiz. Easy, simple ways to build in feedback for students is by allowing them to take a quiz and them just to see their score. Nothing that you need to grade, no free response. Those do have their place as well, but I think this is an easy, easy win for you to build in this and kind of create that feedback loop. One great way to give feedback is through the speed grader. Now, if you are in the grade book, you will see this icon whenever anyone turns in an assignment. I want to see that assignment using the speed grader. So right here it's trying to let me enter a grade, which is not how we'd like to do that using that pull down, but rather I clicked on the right arrow and went to speed grader. This is our To Kill a Mockingbird writing prompt. And we had this so that students would not just respond in a text box, but could upload a document. Now this is what it will look like whether or not they hand in a Google Doc or a Microsoft document. It will kind of take like this picture of it and then we'll put it in here and it will look like this. So if behind the scenes a student edits it after it's been handed in, those edits will not be here unless they hand it in a different way, which we can also show you as well. Now, if they hand it in this way, you have all these tools to give feedback to a student with these tools on the top. Now, you can easily give assignment comments over on the right, which is an easy way to do this. Good job and you could leave that comment over there. Additionally, you can give, um, after grading their paper, a media comment. A media comment will look like this, and it should look pretty familiar as we are looking at this, and I could talk through their paper and explain what they did, and maybe it's easier to do this than typing it all. You would hit the start recording button, and then it would embed at the bottom. After I hit that, I hit finish. Oh, lovely. I can just hit again start over or I can say save and then this will drop this over here, the comments area. You also have the option to leave a comment over here uh, with speech recognition. So I can hit that and hit the record button and this is just going to turn my words into text. Good job on the assignment. It looks a little plagiarized. And then that would drop that in there and you could hit submit as well. So again, if that's something easier for you to do, that is an option for you. So lots of tools in here for you to use. For a student, this will then show up that they've received this comment on their home screen. There's an area that says kind of their to-do list and then feedback. And as teachers, we wanna keep sending them to that area to be able to see their feedback that we're leaving them. You could also then use these tools at the top to leave feedback on their document. So. Again, you have a variety of tools up here. I can zoom in and out. Um, we have this little tool here where if I wanted to talk about a specific area, like, wow, it looks very plagiarized, um, or how they started this area, I could just put that little pin there and then leave a comment. Start with labeling, whatever it is, okay? Um, you can change the colors of that little pin drop. I could also highlight certain sections, like, hey, right here, I could just highlight it if I wanted to and I can kind of move on or I could leave a comment on the highlights of why I highlighted them. And so this will leave all on the document and your students can see this as well. Uh, other tools up here, I could leave actual text comments. 
um, a strike through if you wanted them to get rid of a paragraph. You could see what that would look like. Again, you could add a note if you wanted. Um, over here, we can draw some lines, right? Or again, if you want to draw a box around an area, you could do so like that. So you have lots of tools in these areas for you to give feedback to students. Uh, again, this is going to be on the more time consuming part of giving feedback to students, but it is an option for you, especially if you are looking at giving papers and not having to collect all these papers um, and touching all their germs, but rather wanted to do this digitally. Uh, this is a good way for you to be able to leave really specific feedback, uh, whether you're using the assignments tool, a video recording, or the tools within the SpeedGrader.